Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to begin a series of lectures about food. What got me started was today I received a live chat from a person that asked about uh, Old Testament dietary laws and whether we need to follow them. And you know, it's not, um, it's not a simple question, but there, there's a short answer and a long answer, okay? And so there is a simple answer, but then there's a longer answer. The short answer is that um, um, in the New Testament, for example, Paul, the Apostle Paul, speaks about, um, uh, he said, basically he said that uh, everything is lawful to me, but not everything is uh, expedient, or everything is lawful, but not everything is um, proper or wise, okay? But now things are a little uh, somewhat different now. We have, after Christ came, see now we have the law of liberty, as, as Paul called it. So all things are lawful. I mean, you could say sort of all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient, see? Or, or, so for example, I'll just give you a very simple example. Um, it's okay for me to have a little drink of wine, okay? If I wanted to have a little glass of wine, it would be okay. It's not wrong to have a little glass of wine, okay? But I'm not going to have a glass of wine. First of all, because I'm, I don't care for it. I don't, just don't need it. Um, but secondly, because someone might get the wrong idea if they see me drinking a glass of wine, they think, well, look at, him he calls himself a pastor and he's drinking see what I mean so um, so I'm not going to have a glass of wine because it was said uh, um, people could t get the wrong impression see what I mean see how see how that is all right so we have all of that so now you see um, that things are different now than they were then that's so that's the short answer okay so we don't want to be um, you know, nitpicking and straining at the gnat and trying to figure out how many angels dance on the head of a pin. Remember that old, uh, in the Middle Ages they were legalistic. So we don't want to be legalistic about it. But we definitely want to have common sense. Now the other thing that we have now is we have um, access to our, com to our intuition, common sense, and even to the Holy Spirit. Okay, so if we look within, we ought to be able to see whether something is wise or not. And if we don't know, then we might be delicately led to the right information. Do you see what I mean? Where we could know. So we have our common sense. We have our intuition. We have our conscience. And so it's amazing how... Um, but common sense and intuition will take you a long way in knowing whether something is wise or not. Okay, so now let us look at today. If someone were to put down some laws today for the good of people, okay? This would be just, just for the good of people, okay? Not to be mean, but to help them. What would, that, what would they say? Well, for example, they might say, don't drink uh, soda pop, okay? Now, now the soda pop has um, soft drinks, in other words, have high fructose corn syrup in them. Not good, okay? And they have, uh, what, phosphorus, I think? Not good. Not to mention all other kinds of bad things. Plus, they're empty calories. They're empty calories. So people say, well, how about diet soda? It's just as bad, maybe even worse, because it has aspartame in it. Aspartame. Okay, if you look up aspartame and find out what it really is and what it does to the body, not good. Okay, so I would say don't drink soda pop. Um, you know, I want to mention this. Oh, I want to mention two things before, because I'm, I want to keep this video short. It's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I want to mention my book. Okay, let's see if I can get it up here where it's not too, uh, too bright. Um, there it is, Forbidden Food, 
the legacy of paradise lost and the promise of redemption. It's a beautiful book, very deep. It talks about why we have food issues, okay, and why we have health issues concerning food. And it talks about father hunger. See, for a lot of people, food is um, a substitute for love, okay? A lot of people today, their father's not there for them. He wasn't there for them. They don't have a father, or he's gone, or he's not there for them. And so they, um, and they resent their father. They resent fatherhood for having failed them, see? And then in their emptiness, they eat and then have food issues, see? And all of these th things like bulimia and anorexia and so on has have a lot to do with uh, um, not having, not father not being there for them, see. Um, so this is an excellent book. So you really should, you could go to uh, commonsensecounseling.org and you can preview it there. It's, it's also on Amazon and Kindle paperback. Forbidden Food, okay, The Legacy of Paradise Lost and the Promise of Redemption. Now the other thing I want to mention is today I was watching some videos. Um, as part of some research I was doing, a beautiful song called um, Hurame, Hurame, Swear to Me or Promise Me, okay, written by Maria Greve. She's a nice lady from Mexico, a composer, Hurame. And there were singers who, um, Jose Carreras, remember him, the great opera singer, Placido Domingo, sang it, okay. Um, and so there were opera singers who sang it, and they did very nicely. But then there was a video, a very sweet video of some young people on the stage, and there was there were um, they were th uh, three couples, three couples, and uh, they sang it, and it was beautiful, because it was the couples singing to each other, the, the man and the woman singing to each other. But you know something, two of the couples were very heavy. They were very, very uh, overweight, and it almost made me cry, because I've seen that so much now when I go to concerts. A lot of young people are very heavy, okay, way overweight, and it, um, it breaks my heart, because I know it's not good for them, health-wise. And so, I see that there's something wrong with the food now. So, if somebody made rules today, what would they say? They'd say, don't drink soft drinks, regular soft drinks or um, diet soft drinks, okay? It would say stay away from uh, fast food as much as you can. Stay away from it. Just don't eat it. Stay away from box food and processed foods, okay? Um, that's very important. Stay away from MSG and aspartame and high fructose corn syrup. Those are just some of the things that are not good, okay? And... Um, Watch out for, um, you know, everything now has soy in it. Everything is soy, soy, soy. Mostly genetically modified, okay? Um, so go with organic vegetables and organic fruit as much as you can, okay? If you have a little tiny, tiny bit of fast food, occasionally it's not going to hurt you, or a little, you know, maybe once a week. One burger, for example, or one. So watch out for those. Watch out for the meat. It's got most of the meat now has hormones in it, and a lot of other things, but hormones. Okay, so take it easy on the meat. If you have a little a little bit of meat, then try to find some meat that doesn't have hormones in it. Grass-fed beef or chicken that does. You see what I mean? Now a lot of a lot of stores. When I go into the different, all the different grocery stores, Safeway and Lucky and Rayleigh's and Andromico's and all the ones that we have over here, you know, they, they all have organic because people want it. So look for the, for the organic and, for, and see. So what, so, so you see what I mean? And watch out for the plastics. Everything is has wrapped in plastic and comes in plastic. 
don't drink water out of don't have a plastic water bottle don't buy these throw away bottles of wa bottled water in plastic you think oh isn't this wonderful well it's not wonderful first of all it may not be really good water if you, they say it is maybe it's not but secondly it's in plastic so it has these PCBs or whatever they are in it I can't think of the name of it get yourself a nice glass um, which I have a real stylish one from Europe I should have brought it with me so I can show you stylish one it's made of glass with a nice rubber covering on it, or stainless steel okay and get some some good some so you see there's just these basic things so I don't drink I don't eat high fructose sorn, corn syrup I don't have any diet um, you know aspartame or any of those things or s sucralose and um, all those different ph phony sugars I don't have any of them okay if I have any I have to have a little bit of honey or grade B maple syrup maybe um, so you see you just have to you, you absolutely have to watch out for the food now okay well that's what my common sense tells me that's what my intuition tells me okay okay and I where do I get my common sense and my intuition but from the good Lord okay so my habits my dietary habits have changed a lot ever since I began to meditate properly began to wake up and meditate properly over the years see I've uh, learned a lot about food and and slowly but surely see my habits have changed so um, where once I needed to have a donut or I would need to have candy see what I mean things that now I have no interest in it anymore I'm not saying you can do that overnight but I'm saying if you start for example to meditate to use my meditation okay which I have a free one I have free meditations okay all they do is help you to help you to come out of your trance so you're not you know mindlessly see buying things and then just start so you but you absolutely have to stay away from the um, the aspartame and the MSG and the processed food and the G genetically modified food and the meat with uh, hormones in it and see what I mean just have to have to but luckily the, you have alternatives now in all the stores see so um, so that would be really important and the plastic and the plastic water bottles and so on get get a nice glass water bottle a stainless steel water bottle see all right so I see so you see that would be those would be some of the things we would be telling people now so uh, you can slowly but surely begin to um, to wake up and to be wise okay to eat more eat more wisely all right well it's the first video in the series hope you enjoyed it covered a lot of ground um, basically a short 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 answer but it gets you started it'll get you started okay um, the other thing we need to mention is uh, about weight uh, a lot of these um, anti a lot of the antidepressants and the antipsychotic medications see I remember one time I saw a representative of some drug company was making a video and he said that when they saw somebody walking down the street that was super um, overweight he sa they said they could say that's one of ours they're taking our med medication he said that so you have to be wise you have to look for you have to see they say to make it it's good to make an informed consent everybody says that right all the doctors say it all the medic they all say it the government says it the CD they all say it. it's not good to have, be able to make an informed and give your conformed informed consent well how can you ha give in informed consent unless you see both sides unless you know both sides unless you research both sides okay of these issues of um, drugs and medications and vaccines and all of those you see what I mean you have to see both sides my name and research find out about both sides that way you can make an informed decision my name is Roman